Hi there, Al Foster coming to you from the Duckworth Center at the University of Winnipeg here in downtown Winnipeg. For this edition of Sports Select -like Sports Talk, we are talking wheelchair rugby. Behind me right now is preparation by Team Manitoba as they get ready for the national championships in London, Ontario. They used to call it murder ball. Sports Select -like Sports Talk starts now. And here to help us learn a little something about the sport, wheelchair rugby 101, if you will, is the captain for team at Manitoba, and that's Aaron Smith. Thank you for being with us, Aaron. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about how you got started in this sport. Um, it, I know wheelchair rugby has quite a history here in Manitoba, but let's first of all talk about how you got going in it. Well, I was in a car accident in 1989, and I was sitting in the hospital, and a girl from uh, Wheelchair Sports came and said, you know, there's lots of sports for us in wheelchairs that we could play, and asked if I wanted to play something. And I said, well, you know, I like racket sports, so let's play some table tennis. So we went to the rec center and started playing table tennis, and uh, from there it graduated into rugby, and uh, we just played in the rec center for the first little bit. I gotta stop you there. How do you go from table tennis to rugby? That's, that's quite the transition. Well, we first were talking about hockey, because I was a hockey player before I got hurt. And I played a lot of competitive hockey, so I wanted to be in a competitive sport. And they told me that wheelchair rugby is very competitive and there's a national program. And uh, I said, well, I want to try it out and see, how it, see if I like it or not. And we all loved it because there was four of us, four or five of us that were playing table tennis. And uh, we just pushed the table tennis tables to the side and we started playing wheelchair rugby. And we were playing in our everyday chairs. I was still in the hospital at the time, so I was still in my hospital chair, so I was crashing and banging with that and thought, wow, this is awesome. And from there on, uh, we started playing, we developed our Manitoba team, and I've been playing wheelchair rugby ever since. Now, there's obviously a real physical component to that, and let's talk a little bit about this, because it used to be called murder ball, right? Yes, it did. Uh, when they first invented the game in 1976, uh, there was some uh, gentleman at the rehab hospital with spinal cord injuries. They uh, grabbed a volleyball and started throwing it around. They added some rules and regulations to it, and uh, from there it became murder ball, and it took off in the States, and there was probably about 50 teams in the States at that time and in early 80s they changed it to wheelchair rugby because it was pretty hard for them to market murder ball and uh, when it became wheelchair rugby it took off and now it's played all over the world. Talk about the growth you've seen in the sport because it's obviously come a long ways from those initial days when you got started. Well when I first started there was only five teams in Canada. Yeah. Well, the major provinces like BC, Ontario, Quebec, and then there was Saskatchewan and Manitoba, and that was it for teams. And uh, probably about uh, mid-90s to 98, uh, they decided to uh, have some more teams, and uh, now we have about, I think around 15, 16 teams in Canada now. So, yeah, it's growing a lot, and in the States, there's over 200 teams in the States, so it's growing tremendously. I talk about the growth here in Manitoba because um, obviously you don't get a chance to maybe play a lot of other teams, right? But obviously you're getting enough bodies out to practice and, and get good. Well, on, on a good night, we'll have 8 to 10 players coming out that are very interested in playing rugby. They may not be able to travel on the road yet because they're new to their injury and they're still trying to feel out their, you know, their, their bodies, trying to figure out what a spinal cord injury is all about. And uh, then there's about a six, seven of us that are hardcore rugby guys that travel all the time. We have a Prairie League that we play in. Uh, there's a team from Saskatchewan and two teams from Alberta. And we start in September, we go till April, and we play those teams at different tournaments. So when we go to Saskatchewan, in, in, uh, usually in October, we'll go there and play a tournament for a weekend, and we'll play Edmonton, Calgary, Saskatoon and then obviously us and then uh, they do the same when we go to Alberta like we'll go to Edmonton for a tournament then we'll go to Calgary for a tournament then we'll come to Manitoba for a tournament so we play about four tournaments in the Prairie League and then there's also a tournament 
in uh, BC in Vancouver and that's the big tournament there's lots of big teams that come up from the states that that play and uh, yeah we we've been competing in that for many years too what do you like about this sport here? you know I, I compare it to hockey I love like I'm very competitive natured person and I find that wheelchair rugby is gives me that competitive nature uh, the guys that come out and play rugby they're very competitive in nature inside and uh, it's fun to compete with players of that caliber and, and that enthusiasm and that energy to and it keeps me going on a day-to-day -day act so that I can do whatever I want when I want and live life all right well I want to learn more about the sport itself okay. so I hope you'll stick with us I will. all right more with Aaron Smith and uh, the rest of team Manitoba's wheelchair rugby team coming up from the Duckworth Center stay with us you're on Shaw TV